you'll learn quickly by doing. AI coding is changing so quickly. Anything that you learn from a course six months ago will not necessarily be relevant now. The good news is all of the tools are getting easier. So if something wasn't covered from a course six months ago, it won't matter <laughs> because the tools are getting so good. Really just come up with a project idea. This is why AI Building 101 starts with you need to work out what your idea is. Start with that and then just get started. Once you've got an idea, go to Claude or ChatGPT. Say, this is what I want to build. This is my technical level. This is what I've done. This is the tool I'm using. I want it to be an app on telephones or a web app. Tell it your end goal. Ask Claude or ChatGPT to help you put together a project plan based on your skills and level. Ask it to make it stepwise. Instead of trying to build the whole thing in one shot, like user logins, payment portals, dashboards, analytics. Don't do all of that in one go because it's going to be spaghetti. It's going to be an absolute mess. So instead you say, when you're building your project plan, I want to build the basics, make sure the functionality is working, then go step by step, adding on the feature set until we have the whole thing. Take that project plan to your coding tool and say, this is what I'm trying to build. Assess this, give me some feedback, and then create the documentation, create the folder structure and get started. Work through the project bit by bit with your tool. If you run into problems, let's say you've got a a compiling problem and your app's not get the error code, the debug code, the failed compile code or whatever it is, take it back into your vibe coding tool and say, Hey, this is what's wrong. What do you think this is? How can we fix it? Give me some alternatives, etc. You work with the tool to get better. The more sophisticated levels and code architecture, DevOps, that all comes later. Just start building for now. That is my recommendation. There are tools that give you free credits. Anti-gravity is free. Google anti-gravity you can download. Individual plan is $0 a month for anyone who wants to build. And that gives you access to Gemini 3 Pro, Claude Sonnet 4.5 and Opus 4.5. Really? Damn. And GPT OSS, the open source model of ChatGPT. I gave you Opus 4.5 access for free. That's very impressive. Opus 4.5 is an absolute beast. I gave it a big task yesterday while playing video games. It worked for 45 minutes and I nailed it. Opus is really good. It's also very expensive. The fact that they are giving it away in anti-gravity, it's pretty cool. So check out anti-gravity if you're looking for free play around, hit problems and work through them. That's how you learn. If you need additional help, come into the community, my community, community community.aiwithkyle.com and ask, what do people think this is? I'm happy to jump in and there'll be other people as well.